Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer at Christ the King Anglican Church. Today is Wednesday, December 20th. Our service begins in the prayer book on page 11. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent, according to your promises, declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. And we will continue um, this morning with the Venite. That is uh, my choice for the morning. It is the Venite on page 14. And we say together, O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. We now will have our psalm and lesson for the morning. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 119 beginning at verse 129 on page 436. Your testimonies are wonderful, therefore does my soul keep them. When your word goes forth, it gives light and understanding to the simple. I opened my mouth and drew in my breath, for my delight was in your commandments. O oh, look upon me and be merciful unto me, as you always do for those who love your name. Order my steps according to your word, and so shall no wickedness have dominion over me. O oh, deliver me from those who deal wrongfully, and so shall I keep your commandments. Go the light of your countenance upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. My eyes gush out water because of those who do not keep your law. Righteous are you, O Lord, and true are your judgments. The testimonies that you have commanded are exceedingly righteous and true. My zeal has even consumed me, because my enemies have forgotten your words. Your word is tested to the uttermost, and therefore your servant loves it. I am small and of no reputation, yet I do not forget your commandments. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your law is the truth. Trouble and heaviness have taken hold of me, yet my delight is in your commandments. The righteousness of your testimonies is everlasting. Oh, grant me understanding, and I shall live. We call with my whole heart. Hear me, O oh Lord, I will keep your statutes. Even unto you do I call. Help me, and I shall keep your testimonies. Early in the morning do I cry unto you, 
for in your word is my trust. My eyes open before the night watches, that I may meditate on your words. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your loving kindness. Give me life according to your judgment. They draw nigh who in malice persecute me and are far from your law. Be near at hand, O Lord, for all your commandments are true. Concerning your testimonies, I have known long ago that you have founded them forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading this morning is the 12th chapter of the book of Revelation. And a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was pregnant and was crying out in birth pangs in the agony of giving birth. And another sign appeared in heaven, behold, a great red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on its heads seven diadems. His tail swept down a third of the stars of heaven and cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was about to give birth, so that when she bore her child, he might devour it. She gave birth to a male child, one who was to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. But her child was caught up to God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she has a place prepared by God in which she is to be nourished for a thousand two hundred and sixty days. Now war arose in heaven, Michael and his angels fighting against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. But he was defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. And the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent who was called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ has come. For the accuser of our brothers has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they loved not the, their lives even unto death. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. But woe to you, O earth and sea, for the devil has come down to you in great wrath, because he knows that his time is short. And when the dragon saw that he had been thrown down to the earth, he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. But the woman was given two wings of the great eagle, so that she might fly from the serpent into the wilderness, to the place where she is to be nourished for a time, and times, and half a time. The servant poured water like a river out of his mouth after the woman to sweep her away with a flood. But the earth came to the help of the woman, and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed the river that the dragon had poured from his mouth. Then the dragon became furious with the woman and went off to make war on the rest of her offspring and on those who kept the commandments of God and hold to the testimony of Jesus. And he stood in, on the sand of the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle for this morning is the Benedictus. This can be found in our Books of Common Prayer on page 19. The Song of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham <clears throat> to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, 
all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And together, the Apostles' Creed found on page 20. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. Collect of the day. O Lord Jesus Christ, you sent your messengers, the prophets, to preach repentance and prepare the way for our salvation. Grant that the ministers and stewards of your mysteries may likewise make ready your way by turning the hearts of the disobedient toward the wisdom of the just, that at your second coming to judge the world, we may be found a people acceptable in your sight. For with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign one God, now and forever. Amen. Collect for grace. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Defend us by your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor run into any danger, and that guided by your Spirit we may do what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our prayer focus this morning is for our missionaries. I invite prayers uh, both out loud and in silence at this time. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our missionaries and your many blessings to us through them. And we ask, Lord, that you would allow them, allow our missions committee to make wise decisions and to communicate wisely and well with them uh, and to just to show them our support and our love and our gratitude. Heavenly Father, we thank you that so many um, that we know have answered the call to be your missionaries to the world in so many and different ways. Um, missions, missionaries to inner city children, missionaries to the incarcerated, um, and missionaries in a way that seem a little different, um, whether it's for the homeless or whether it's um, 
translating Bibles into different languages. Lord, we lift all of those that we support by prayer and by money. But most of all, Lord, we ask that we be your missionaries too. Each and every day, we be your emissaries of showing Jesus to this world, especially at this time, Lord, when perhaps hearts are a little more open uh, to hearing the gospel. Thank you, Lord, that so many that we know, such as Jean and the Kairos people, that they believe deeply in doing just that, sharing the gospel. Thank you. Yes, Lord, I, I, with my whole heart, thank you for um, all the many years that the people at Christ the King and other churches who have melded into us uh, have quietly and faithfully uh, supported our missionaries, such as Jean and Kairos and LifeQuest and <clears throat> have through the church and independently uh, through their prayers and their pocketbooks supported these people and these works. And I am so thankful for the meeting we had yesterday. It was spirit filled. There were uh, new people and new energy in the room. It was, it was delightful. And I ask you Lord to continue to lead us at Christ the King. Show us the things uh, as we prayed yesterday, show us the things you would have us support Show us the things you would have us set aside, whether uh, whether for just a season or for longer. Um, there are there are seasons to outreach, and some of the outreaches we've supported are doing well and no longer need our help, and some of them desperately need our help. Some of them are just beginning. So show us which things you would have us support and how you would have us support them. Show us the things here in the neighborhood you would have us seek out and support. Show us how you would have us work with the other churches here in the neighborhood. Uh, we know, we talk about the fact that you have a work you would have us do. And we all feel it. We just need you to point us and show us, give us the courage to walk. Walk in the direction you've given us to go. We thank you, Lord, for your presence among us. We turn from our missionaries to those that are called uh, to be ordained for ministry as this week is our traditional Ember Days uh, here in December. So let us pray. Almighty God, the giver of all good gifts, in your divine providence, you have appointed various orders in your church. Give your grace, we humbly pray, to all who are now called to any office and ministry for your people. And here at Christ the King, we especially pray for our postulant Sean Jeanette. And so fill them with the truth of your doctrine and clothe them with holiness of life, that they may faithfully serve before you to the glory of your great name and for the benefit of your holy church. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our service continues this morning on page 25. Would you join me as we say together the general thanksgiving on page 25? Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. And on page 26, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Together we say the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.